Filtration essentially is the removal of contaminants from either air or from a liquid, whether that be oil or fuel, um, via the use of a media. And that media is then used to trap particles and contaminants that could cause damage and could effectively and ultimately cause a high level of cost to our customers. With the conditions the machines, JCB machines work in, um, dusty usually environments, uh, you need good quality filtration. In simple terms, a media is, is, a, is, a, is paper. It's made from either can be cellulose, uh, which is basically made from compressed trees, or it can be in synthetic as well. The type of media depends on what that filter needs to do. Whether it's filtering fuel, filtering oil, filtering hydraulic oil, engine oil. They have all been specified by the JCB to provide the best protection available for each one of the filtration uh, purpose that it's been requested to carry out. The process of constructing a filter may seem quite simple, but there's a lot of very complex things at work. It has to capture particles down to minute sizes, down to the levels of two or three microns, smaller than a red blood cell. So to get that material specification correct requires a lot of quality control, requires a lot of diligence by our supplier base and by JCB to specify it correctly. There are other things as well that go into making a filter. It's the sealing, it's the installation, it's the cleanliness during the manufacturing process. Good filtration is important because it maintains the system performance that JCB designs into its machines. JCB selects its uh, filters very carefully. It looks at a whole range of factors. Um, one of the key things is that it must meet various uh, test requirements. Uh, a standard test is the ISO multipass test which a lot of the filter manufacturers will work to, the ISO 16889. During a multipass test, what happens is a calibrated test dust is injected into a liquid flowing into the filter. And by taking the number of particles of a given size upstream against the given size downstream, you can work out the efficiency of the actual filter. For example, you can get a, a 10 micron filter which has a 99% efficiency on 10 microns, and you can have a filter which has got a 99.9% .9 efficiency at 10 microns. They're not the same. The one that's 99% efficient will let through 10 times more particles. During the test as well, the pressure drop is monitored. And JCB will specify the levels to which that filter has to perform under that pressure drop test. Thermal effects can have a big effect on the performance of the component. In a filter media, the media itself can undergo stresses and strains due to the sudden increase in the temperatures, which means that it will not be able to trap the contaminant in the way that it is designed to. The thermal shock test is, is where an element is subjected to minus 40 up to a significantly high temperature, way above ambient temperature. The basis of this is to simulate real-world conditions where you could go from very, very cold conditions right the way to very hot conditions. The idea is that this tests out seals to make sure that seals can operate in those conditions. A seal prevents any liquid bypassing the filter mechanism that you have put in place to, to protect your component system. So therefore it's essential that it, it seals correctly time after time after time. When the machine starts, sometimes the oil is too thick to actually go through the filter media, and so there'll be a bypass in the circuit. The bypass is there to open to make sure that the upstream components are protected. The whole concept of the bypass valve is that it opens and closes at, at, at a constant value throughout the life of the valve. So therefore, it is essential that the filters in question have been thoroughly tested and set to the correct levels decided by the OEM. A burst test is uh, where a hydraulic or a, a fuel filter is put onto a, a, a test bench and the pressure is gradually increased until it literally bursts. Quite clearly that burst point has to be three, four, five times greater than the actual design pressure within that component system. And again, JCB will specify the performance of its filters under the ISO burst pressure test. JCB filtration products are put through a shaker test, and this shaker test is an off-highway test which signifies or, or represents the very, very severe vibration levels that can be seen on a construction machine. And this effectively simulates an entire life on machine. 
The fatigue test is designed to simulate the fluctuating pressures experienced within component systems. Typically the test covers 1 million cycles under an increasing pressure. JCB specifies the performance of its filters under severe conditions which are designed to mirror the off-highway application that all JCB machines are subject to. Fuel injection equipment operates at extremely high pressures. That's 2,000 bar pressure. Particles, even minute particles, cause significant damage to the fuel injection system. So JCB lays down very stringent requirements on our fuel filters to make sure that none of those particles go through and damage the fuel injection equipment. Another one of the really bad things about fuel uh, injector systems is that they can't cope with, um, with water. Quite clearly water in fuel um, is very corrosive and damaging to an engine and to a fuel injection system. Water separation is uh, a test for the efficiency of a filter to literally separate water from fuel. The, the filter itself is a fairly low cost compared to the rest of the system, but it's really the most important part of any system. Alternative filters from other manufacturers, for example, might look the same, but may not reach the service interval, in which case then the filter will start to go on to bypass, will break down, and can even collapse. There is a few customers who fit cheaper filters, but generally, um, compared with the damage that they can do to the machine, by not having the correct filter, it's insignificant really, the price difference. What you get is protection of your system and therefore ultimately a more reliable machine and therefore carries greater value to it at the end of, uh, when it gets traded. You work on the assumption that JCB is only going to give me a filter which is suitable for that machine and it's going to do the job in that machine that you want it to do in that machine. And if you use the right filters it's going to last longer. So better maintenance, better time you're going to have, less breakdowns you're going to get. The less breakdowns you get, the less money you're losing.